coming off. Yay. Yes? Yes. 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 customer service in Rwanda. I wanted some produce, you know, not a whole lot. So my driver took me around kissing me at the market and people. I went to this lady and I wanted to give you some prices, you know. I want to give you some prices of say watermelon, pineapple and all of those basic stuffs. And when I went to the lady, when I went to the first lady, She actually was reluctant. She didn't want me to use her produce to tell you what the prices are. She wanted to sell me stuff. But there was this lady. Boy, I'm telling you. This lady, she just was so, so good. That's a one big watermelon here, folks. One big watermelon. The biggest $2. one. $2.50 here. Yes. You can't go wrong. This is a deal and a half. For a kilo of plantains, It's, it's for what? All, it's it's one, all about not like about a dollar twenty yes. for a kilo of plants. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong, people. People, right here. Good. good. It's the big one. So one watermelon here. One watermelon here, people, and that is for like two dollars fifty. You can't go wrong. You've been good to me, and I'm gonna bless you. She came to me. She was so cordial. She was so transparent. She was just so kind. And she said, here, take this, look at this, whatever. And the way she treated me, people, family, I had to give her a tip. I had to bless her. I didn't put on camera, but I had to bless her because she wasn't concerned about me buying. She was just concerned about the whole idea that, to tell you what, she's going to accommodate me, treat me well, give me good service. And then what happens, I bought almost everything from her and people. You know the previous lady that was treating me bad? She felt so bad because I blessed the other lady. I actually bought everything from this lady who treated me kind and I didn't just do it one time. I went back about twice again and bought it. So we're in Kissimmee Market here. We're in Kissimmee Market Force and we're just trying to pick up a few stuffs. So um, we came back to the same lady. We came back to the same lady who really treated us very well. So we came back to support her. So folks, while we're here, we're just going to give you a bird's eye view of Kissimmee Market. Put it put it right there. What else you want, Momo? Wanna find you want a pineapple? My friend. My friend apple. No, no, we don't need an apple. American apple. You have African apple. Yeah. Yeah. Plantains? The better ones? Yeah, you want some riper ones, some bigger ones. Yeah. We're here and we're looking at mangoes, we're looking at bananas, and um, plantains. Plantains. 
So, baby, do I still need to buy the bananas? Just give me about six. Because they're going to spoil. No! To make rice and peas, uh -huh. I, I, um, I want the red ones, the red dry ones. Not giving a deal. No, sir. No, you're not gonna deal. Nope. No. So people, I am saying this. If you want some good produce, really, you know, if you go to the Kimaronka market, you'll get it cheaper. So the Kisa market is like a convenience store of the big market. So you'll maybe pay a little bit more, but not a whole lot. But I'm just saying is that if you're in Rwanda. If you're close to the new stadium, and if you're close to Kisimete Market, you see this lady right here? People support her. She has a great soul. She has a good heart. She treated me well. And because she treated me well, I am promoting her that when you go to Rwanda, or if you're in Rwanda, go and support this wonderful lady at Kisimete Market. She will treat you good and tell her that. Her kindness and her generosity is the reason why you're there. On that note, people, Jamkan is out. And as is usual, a good bargain may attack. Oh, see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>